This is what happened on the last sneaker video. You know, and I want to love them. I want to love these. I do. As a matter of fact, I do love them. I just don't love the size. So it is what it is. My feet are a little on fire right now. What's up, guys? I am back with another shoe video. I promise you I'm not turning into a full shoe tuber here, but I have a pair of size 9 Yeezy Quantum in black this time. They were nice enough to get me size 9. Let's see if this size is any better. I took them to the gym, tested them out just like the other pair. So let's jump into the unboxing part of it and see what we got. Okay, so I'm back this time with a size 9. I don't even wear a size 9, but I figured the 10 was so big, I should get a full size down to see if these fit and perform the same as the other ones. So as you can see, it's still the same old boost box. Nothing's different there. And these boxes are actually pretty big. This box is as big as a size 10. Here's the label on it. I have no idea what any of this information means besides the color being black, 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 even though there's other colors on it as well. It shows the size in UK, but I don't think I see a size nine anywhere on there. And I, I still don't know who Matt George is either. If you know who this is, please tell me in the comments because it's, it's kind of weird. I don't know. Like, who is he? His name's on the label, and why is it there? I just don't know. Anyway, anyway. So on the box, it clearly says Yeezy Basketball, and I'm still not 100% sold. This is actually the basketball pair. The cushion's great in them, but I'm just, I'm just not sold this is that pair yet. It's too early. Taking a look there, you can see it's a size 9. I'm really hoping these do the job, because I like this colorway. I like the last colorway, but I like this colorway too. So these have a black upper, as you can tell, kind of black and grayish. It's 3M under there, which doesn't shine as much as the other pair I noticed. But I think they look good. It's a kind of a stealth looking blackout type of pair. I think when these release in retail, like officially, these might be more sought after than the other gray colorway that I reviewed. But once they release like officially, like Adidas, everything, these are going to be hard to get. They still have to really give us a good re-release of the last pair, I think, because this pair is going to be it's going to be crazy when it comes out. I do remember these having really good traction. The bottoms stick to the cord perfectly. There's that inner booty I was talking about that had me locked down last time. Like for the shoe being so big, that inner booty type of setup they have here, which goes deep down into the shoe. It kept my heel locked to that shoe, even with double socks on. It was great. So I'm, I'm hoping these fit a little better. I noticed when I tried them on out of the box, there was a little bit of rubbing on the back. So I don't know. Not sure what any of that means on that tag. And I don't know if that's going to be on the retail pairs coming soon. As far as the craftsmanship, Kixie always does a really good job at bringing you a high quality, unauthorized, authentic that's what these shoes are. I'm not trying to pass these off as retail or an official sneaker. I love Kixie's products and there's been people in comments saying, are these real? Because Kixie does such a great job. They're thinking that they're a retail pair when they're not. I'm more interested in the performance aspect of these shoes because I've been waiting for these shoes for almost a couple years. They've been teasing us sneaker heads with these and I just want to play basketball in them. So I'm going to take it to the court and let's see how they do. And by the way, this is not a paid or sponsored video. I buy all of my stuff. Just wanted to drop that out there so me and YouTube are good, right? So back at 24 Hour Fitness, this place is really becoming my second home. This time I went during the day instead of 3 a.m. I couldn't do it again. All right, so let's go ahead and get these bad boys on the feet. I mentioned a little earlier in the video that I had a hard time getting them on when I first tried them on right out of the box. That back neoprene, well, I don't know if that's neoprene, but the back part around the ankle, like look right there, it's 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 a struggle. I had the, whew, but once I got in, it was great. On this pair, obviously, you don't have to tie them as tight as I did the other pair. Once you slip them on, you're pretty much locked down, and once you do tie them up just a little bit, kind of like how DeMar DeRozan ties his shoes, like barely, they fit perfectly. Man, I'm not even going to lie. The struggle was real getting these on. And this time I'm wearing a thicker sock than when I had on when I first tried them on. 
it's like a brand new thick polo type of sock. So it's 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 a struggle. Also, I recommend using the last lace loop so everything secures around your foot nice and snug and it keeps your ankle locked down. Even though I don't believe in shoes protecting your ankle like that because you can wear a low top, obviously. But anyway, these were squeaking. I'm going to go ahead and shut up real quick so you can hear how they grip. All right, so I dribbled around a bit in these just to see how responsive they were, how they felt around my ankle, how comfortable they were. And they were pretty good. Landing in these, the boost felt really responsive. It was nice and squishy, but not too squishy. It was nice and firm. We like it firm. And I played in these for about 30 minutes. And let me tell you, when you play during the day and you're trying to film inside of a gym, People, you know, they want to ask, what are you doing? Are you a YouTuber? Are you making a video? And, you know, you kind of got to deal with it. It's a little annoying, but, hey, that's the nature of, you know, making videos in public. And if you know my content by now, I'm, I'm a vlogger first. I started off vlogging cinematically, so that's kind of my thing, but whatever. So anyway, I'm trying to do some cuts, like that that step you take when you cross over that, mm, that like, you know what I'm talking about, that one, that, that, that one that sends them flying. Whap, just send him flying the other direction. I gave him a little cross to see what he bite on it. I let him set his feet. See, you dribblers know what I mean. You know the vibes on that. I didn't even have to wipe these the whole time I was running around in them. So basically, I'm trying to break the shoe. I'm trying to slide. I'm trying to see if there's any rejection from a hard cut, from a hard jump. And... To be 100% honest, these things are rock solid. It's like they have something sticky on the bottom. I don't know if because they're brand new. They've really never touched outside. I wiped them off before I played in them, but they are rock solid as far as the traction. A plus. How the heck am I still out of shape? Had to go with the size Nina, but it's good. There's something on my lens. Can you see me? These did good. They did real good. Real good. Ugh. All right. Oh crap, man, my battery's freaking dying. I might have to switch this to my phone. So, I will say, the Yeezy basketball sneaker did good just like the other sneaker, but this one actually fits. Maybe a little too tight. I mean, look how small this sneaker is. I don't have the other sneaker to compare to. Okay, here's a quick look at both the sneakers so you can see the size difference. It's not just in the length, it's in like the width of them both. Obviously it's a nine, one's a 10, but there's a huge difference. I shouldn't even be able to wear a size nine sneaker in anything. Right there you can tell the 3M is not as reflective or it actually doesn't look like it's reflective at all. On the sides you can tell the, the 3M's not really shining. So I'm not sure if that's Kixi's quality control or how they're gonna be. I also have seen the retail pair have a gum type of bottom as opposed to a fully translucent bottom. So you can tell the 10 is way bigger than the nine. And I mean like an 11 to a nine and a half. That's the difference between these two. So you gotta be thoughtful when you think of purchasing these. Originally, again, they didn't make these in half sizes. They're just straight 9s, 10s, 11s, 12s, which is really weird. So they, they need to restock these shoes in the proper sizing, like full half sizes, full sizes. But it's a little tight around the collar area right there in the back. Other than that, they were great. They got like this soft feel that I just love with boost sneakers. My feet are cooking. Like, my feet are hot. Trust me, like, y'all smell that? These, I don't know if I'd wear these casually because they just feel weird. They feel too sports oriented to actually wear them casually. Like I, I feel like I need to hoop in them. Good old G7X died. I don't think Adidas is making these in half sizes just yet. I've got a code down below that they were nice enough to give me for you guys to use. They're great sneakers. A little on the heavy side for my taste, especially after just wearing the Giannis sneakers, but they're highly recommended. Unbelievable. I actually had to take some scissors and cut down in here. You can't probably see that. But in here where that booty meets, I actually had to cut that down a bit because this part was pulling on my ankle. 
which is a sign of them that they're probably too small. I wear a nine and a half to a 10. So this was kind of chancing it. I was nervous as heck. Really nothing else to say. Like, subscribe. Peace out guys, I gotta go. All right. Oh man, still out of shape. Is this thing still on?